Hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com. And uh, today we're going to talk about custom themes again. And the reason for this is because number one, Microsoft has released the theme gallery and I would like to show you that. And number two, there are a lot of tools that have been released uh, since the feature was released. And I would like to show you some of them. They're really, really cool. So let's look at all these new features. So first of all, let's look at the report theme gallery. Uh, here has Amanda is from the Microsoft team. Uh, she has released some of the themes that were released uh, with the May, um, not May, with the March update, but not all of them are here. So if you want, if you like those themes, make sure you go back to the um, March update. I will put a link in the description box also, because uh, I, if I were you, I would download them. Some of them are really, really nice. Uh, so Amanda published some of the um, themes in here, but not all of them are there. So you might want to check those out. But here you can either download the ones that are here or you can submit your own. Let's look at it is doesn't matter. Let's look at power view theme. So what you will see here, let's see if it loads. It is a power BI embed showing you the colors. So this will be the colors for the tables and the colors for the bar charts. And uh, here you have the Power BI file and the JSON file. Okay. So just browse the report gallery and pick the ones you like. There are a handful at the moment. You can see it here. I, I wish that actually Microsoft would enforce like a standard view because people are downloading, you see, different formats. And th then it makes it more difficult to compare somehow. So it's useful if people stick to the same format and so you can actually very, very easily compare. Now, because Microsoft has not uploaded all the themes that they release with the March update, my Word document still supplies. If you haven't seen the video, what I did last week is I downloaded all the themes and I just did my own, you know, not gallery, but, it, but this is like a visualization of how the themes look like. And these are all the themes that they released. If you don't have them, download them, check it out. And you can download again this Word file in this video. You don't need to go back to the other one. I will post the link here. But this is useful to see how the colors look like. Okay. So great news. Make sure you download your own and your share your own themes. We would love, love, love to see them. So this is for the first part of the video. Now for the second part, uh, there are a lot of tools being published since uh, this was released. And uh, I want to show you some of them. Um, if we go in here, this is the Power BI community. And here is Dominique that he's, he's showing us, he made actually a tool in Excel for creating the JSON files for Power BI. So here you have a link to his OneDrive and there you can download this Excel file. He's telling us that it won't work in Excel online because there is uh, some uh, Visual Basic uh, coding. Okay, so you need to download these into your uh, computer. But you just basically pick the colors and then uh, you pick a name and then this JSON file will be um, produced and then you can actually save it as JSON and import it in Power BI. So this is like a very, very simple tool to create JSON files. 
Another tool is I've shown you in the previous video. This is for Power BI Tips. And he's actually improved the tool that he has from the beginning. So in this one, you have a wheel where you can, you know, click on. And then you can here add the colors that you click on. And then you can add back ground and foreground and the JSON file generates again. You click here and then you get the JSON file that you import in Power BI. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you check my video last week. I will post a link into the description box. So you can just click there to see how you import this JSON file into Power BI. So last but not least, this is a really cool tool. It was made by Chuck, Charles Sterling. He's working for Microsoft and uh, he created this application to uh, also generate the JSON file. So you come in here, thememaster 500 azurewebsitesnet and then you click create color theme and then the application will generate. Now this is really powerful, you'll see. So what you can do here is you can actually select which colors or which tonalities you would like to have. You say this time I would like to have more like a reddish thing. Now, if you click on shift on this, you can move the individual dot. You can see. Otherwise, if I don't click on anything, they will just all of them move. So. Here we say, okay, I would like to have them more red. And then you see how this change when I move. So it's really nice. And now you can also change the shading. And it is telling us here, whole shift to move. So I would like to have it more like, I don't know, like that. And then more on the bluish or greenish. <laughs> this is a fun tool to play with, I think. Just give it a go if you are a designer. I'm sure you love it. Otherwise, you. I think it's just a fun way to find new colors and themes. And then you can move this in there or more bright colors. You see how it changed? More darker colors in there, you see, uh, like really nice. Apply, and that will produce a check theme. Uh, I have Visual Studio, but you don't need to open it in Visual Studio. You can open it in Notepad, as I showed you on the previous video. This is not going to close, right? Now, the last thing, the source code for this application has actually been shared by Charles. And if you click in here, unfortunately, the URL is wrong. So what you need to do is remove these and add it. And then it will take you to his GitHub page. And here you can actually add or take the source code and put it into your local intranet or whatever you would like to do. So uh, I hope you're having fun with the custom themes. It's been a great update and it's created a lot of noise. So I'm really hoping that Microsoft will release more and more and more things regarding to reports and visualizations and customization on behalf on other advanced features because uh, we really appreciate them and it's something that Power BI lacks a little bit of sometimes so we need to have some more improvements to make the tool even more fantastic than it is but this is all for today and for me so um, uh, if you like the video please let me know by liking it and or sharing it if you have comments questions suggestions for the video just let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below 
and uh, subscribe at Publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.